okay guys so i didn't want this video to be to be long actually but i just wanted to like air my opinion because whenever i think about it i'm just like what's happening and everything just boils down to money like clunchily money will come now money will come money will come Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Roda of the Express Roda. If you're new here, welcome. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to click the subscribe button and also like and share with your friends and family. So, um, I'll just actually like us to dive into what I'm what I'll be sharing today, what we'll be discussing today, because today is a very solemn kind of content as there's so much evil happening around the world and I just wanted to talk about it like there's so much evil happening around the world and honestly sometimes when I think about these things I'm like how did we get here how did the society get here how did the world get here like how did this whole thing start could it have been caught um, now that we are here what can be done you know a lot of questions surrounding my thoughts and i've just decided to you know let it out hear from you guys and just make the world a better place listen you don't have to be recognized globally to make an impact you don't have to be recognized um in a very large community to make an impact you can make an impact in your family you can make an impact in your community you can make an impact in society as your workplace in your church everywhere you find yourself so um i don't want us to have um this mindset of oh it's not my business it is your business honestly and so um i would like us to just rub minds and talk about these things so first of all um Oof. I don't even know where to start from. So I, I want to I want to start from the very popular um, news story that broke out um, some weeks ago, and I'm quite sure that a good number of us must have you know read about it or seen the story. People were circulating it on WhatsApp at some point, and um, some news stories even added in their um, publication. So um, it is the story of uh, Magical Dumi and. His other friends, I think two, uh, two of them, who killed his girlfriend for money ritual. Um, so these people, or this, yes, these people are teenagers. They are not youth. They are all under twenty. The girlfriend in question is a teenager. The magical Demi guy is a teenager. His friends, teenagers as well, and they killed for money ritual. It is so sad, honestly. It is so sad and. My heart breaks whenever whenever i just think about it you know when i saw the news story i was like what like what's happening and when they questioned them they said that they wanted money like they did it for money and i'm like money money ritual what's up with your age number one how did that thought come about Number two, who taught them how to go about the ritual? What to buy, what to do, how to kill the girl, you know, so, so many questions. You know, what were they hoping to achieve when they, if, if, they, if they eventually had gotten the money, what were they hoping to achieve? So this is 17, age 17, age 18, and age 19, you know, um, people. And do you want to have money? Okay, a lot of money at that at this age. So what were they open to achieve? What were they open to do with the money at this age? So many questions, guys. So many questions. And um, there are also a lot of stories out there. I recently heard of um, a boy that um, poured sniper into his mom's food, and she died. Like ASAP, she died. The boy is pres presently in Kirikiri as we speak. I heard that from a church member um, last week. So the boy is presently at Kirikiri as we speak. Then I heard of another story of um, a little boy, nine year old. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we guys use him as a machinery to go about, you know, operating people's phone with a particular code so that they can hack into his phone. So it was, it was at a mechanics um, shop 
and he was just pressing an unknown person's phone right and the, the person in question the person who brought his car to the mechanics shop to re, to repair his car or whatever just you know he didn't really take notes of he didn't really take note of it you know immediately he just felt like oh just one of those errand boys around he didn't really think that there was anything you know suspicious about it but then he just somehow somehow just moved closer to the boy we really hope that you know he was probably playing playing a game or something like who would have thought that he was actually trying to hack into his phone to get his money or stuff and then one thing led to another and they, they found out that he works for some yahoo boys you know so that's how they like apprehended him and that's how like the news story came about and i'm just like everybody's doing these things for money what is happening like kilo shelley like i can't seem to wrap my head around it the world is going crazy the world is going crazy everybody money 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 like there's no humanity anywhere anymore everybody's just doing it for the sake of money and the crazy thing is they don't care the length they go for money <laughs> guys it is not even funny and i don't know how to like wrap my head around it okay um so first of all i like to briefly talk about how um people see money right i don't have an issue with young really young people making money i don't have an issue with a child earning money i don't have an issue with a teenager earning money i don't have an issue with the youth earning money i'm saying this because i know there's this um thinking or stereotype about money that um you you shouldn't earn some certain amount of money you shouldn't ask a certain amount of money until you you know you've gotten to a certain age i'm not of that opinion especially because we are in a digitalized um, age where people make a lot of money um, using their mobile phones. I'm talking about legit money now, okay? So people make money off athlete marketing. People make money off YouTube. People make money off um, content creating. People make money off influencing. People make money selling, marketing, you know, digital marketing. There's a lot of money making ventures out there. So you don't have to be... 40 to start earning a lot of money you don't have to be 50 to start you know earning well and all that stuff so money is for everybody but i'm just like earn your money in a legitimate way don't um, go about seeking for money in a way that is not right that's what i think i don't like the stereotype around money so that's that back to our initial bone of contention um so it is money, 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 money. And a lot of people have um, pointed fingers at many institutions. People have talked about the Nollywood industry. People have pointed fingers at the music industry. People have pointed fingers at um, the celebrities, the public figures. People have pointed fingers at the church even. People have pointed fingers at social media apps that we have thousands of them out there you know which i i also support i mean all of these people have the, the roles they play in all of this situation they do trust me um so take the music industry for example there are lyrics out there that are just centered around money money if you don't have money i do face if you don't have money you don't deserve any girl if you don't have money you don't deserve to be long if you don't have money you don't deserve to be outside you can't sit with us you know all of that you know talk and whatnot in the nollywood industry in the nigerian context now we watch movies that they legit you know show us how someone sleeps and the next day he wakes up a billionaire someone sleeps and the next day he wakes up a millionaire a family member is missing or a family member is dead Nobody cares about how he makes his money. Sometimes we see how this money ritual is done. Nobody cares as long as he has money. Everybody automatically sees him as the breadwinner. Everybody sees him as the game changer in the family. Nobody cares about how he gets or how she gets her money. You know, uh, all of that and our money is the driving force in society. Um, we have the celebrities as well, people who um, a thousand and thousand of youth 
teenagers look up to you know po um, posting cars posting luxurious homes posting you know um very affluent lifestyle that they cannot teach people how they got you know to the current position that they are in at the moment you know such lifestyle like that, that's what i mean you know and people are ailing them people they have thousands of followers those are the people that people are following those are the people that people are listening to so yes those um those are part of this those are part of it you know the society everyone that makes up the society fingers are pointing at them and it's good it's correct the church also people blaming the church for preaching prosperity a lot of churches preaching, preaching prosperity money today money tomorrow and all of that yes i totally totally agree but i feel like um there's a point that people are missing out and that's actually what i want to focus on today i want to talk about the family the family is the first agent of socialization it is the very first component of the society without the without the family they cannot be a society the the family chunks out people into the society the society did just wake up to be formed the society did just wake up we didn't just wake up and you know there was a society families were built first family families were in place before the society ever came into being what is my point exactly the families have all of the work to do families have all of the work to do because the family is where the grooming starts from as a parent what are you teaching your child as a parent what are you grooming your child to become last year we had a very sad story of the you know severe star student of the one college that was killed you know and these are like really young people like super young people so what are you teaching your child in your house how do you talk to your child as a parent what do you think parenting is all about a lot of parents out there just think parenting is about provision it's about taking their kids to the best schools it's about their children wearing designer wears it's about their their kids um eating the best meals and all of that it is good trust me all of those are good i want to give my children the best and the very best of everything but while there is a material need there is also the grooming part of everything taking out time to teach your children how to be better humans like guys it is so crazy what are we teaching the children what are children being exposed to people talking about social media oh people are so exposed to social media platforms oh this oh that it is true it is correct but i don't think that um those are like the first um pointers those are not the first pointers the family is the first pointer like the family is the first pointer because like i said earlier before the society ever got in place the family was in place okay so um long and short story you are an influencer believe me trust me you are an influencer you are a game changer you are an agent of change you don't have to be a public figure to influence people in your small space in that small community of yours in your church at work you are agents of change in our small corners i always say that how are you teaching the children that are in care that are in your care those little babies those little boys those little girls in church in your streets anywhere everywhere you find yourself what are you telling them are you telling them that oh money must be must be made are you teaching are you exposing them to the right things are you telling them what to do are you telling them how to how to love people are you telling them the importance of being humane are you telling them the importance of loving you know um others just like themselves are you telling them the importance of respect are you imbibing those values that we hold in high esteem are you teaching them you know the culture that we hold in high esteem or are you just about exposing them to all the things that doesn't matter or things that they don't need at the moment are you teaching them that hard work is good 
are you teaching them that you can work hard and you can also work smart in a legitimate way and earn well are you teaching them that little drops of water makes a mighty ocean are you teaching them that you don't wake up to just suddenly become a millionaire or a billionaire are you teaching them that you have to learn you, there are some skills that you need to um you know climb up the ladder in life you know so you don't you just don't you don't wake up and just become the best you don't wake up and be the richest you don't just wake up and just have money it doesn't work that way you know are you are you letting them understand the importance of money because even these people these really young people that are, all, that are after money 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 all they want to use that money for is to just most of them the boys for example is just it's to just get girls or just you know buy things that they don't need you know just do some really despicable and unthinkable things with money you know are you teaching them the importance and the value of money some people even don't even know the value of money they don't even know the worth of money but they just see in um music videos how money is being sprayed and lavished and they just feel like yes this is the end thing i want to do this thing they just see um celebrities pos posing with cars and they feel like oh i want to be like this person they don't even know what it is are you teaching them the rudiments of these things? Are you teaching them that there's good and there's evil? Are you teaching, teaching them the benefits of both? Like, so many things actually, but I'm trying not to make this video so long. But I hope that you guys understand me. And I hope that when you watch this video, you make up your mind to be an agent of change in your little way. Okay, and um, tell me what you think about this whole situation in the comment box because everybody's just about money. Everybody's just about money. Money. It's crazy. Like, money will come. Bro.